What is this? Umbrella. An umbrella. European will give our forefather one umbrella and they will collect 40 human beings as a slave. Is that not funny? A human being, European will give our father one umbrella in exchange for 40 human beings as a slave. And we see how the survivor umbrella that I'm going to show you guys later. We have a bottle of 1873 from Vienna, Austria, inside the museum that go for 10 human beings as a slave. Europea will give our father this and collect 10 human beings as a slave. Now, Europea will give our father one plate and they collect 10 human beings as a slave. This long cannon gun go for 100 slaves. Europea will give our father the short one in exchange for 40 human beings as a slave. Over 400 years, more than 12 million Africans were sold into slavery as part of the transatlantic slave trade. Today, human traffickers are still profiting from the many young Africans who hope to migrate and resort to doing it through illegal channels. Everybody say we are not slaves. Slave. Don't forget, I will be teaching some songs, okay? Uh huh. What can I do for you guys? We want to talk to you about emigrating. Some of our guys over there told us you helped them. My brother's been duped by fixers a couple of times. And this will be my second time trying to go to Europe, and we don't want to fail. People have told us we'd be in good hands with you. I've been duped by fixers many times. You give them money and don't hear from them again. We can't talk here. Take my number and call me later so we can arrange where to meet. No problem. We'll call you. I'm a fisherman. I live in Nuakshot, and if Allah wills it, I'm a really good skipper. After 20 years of fishing, I still didn't earn enough money. I don't even own a house, even though I'm very good and experienced. I heard about the migration business and how lucrative it can be. I decided to stop fishing so I could get into smuggling as a skipper. I decided to go to the port of Nuadibu with the hope of joining the smugglers. 
As soon as I got to Nwadibu, the fixers recognized me and offered me a job taking their migrants to Spain. Son, you need to take your education seriously. Mm. Oh. You do. So you don't end up a fisherman like me. When you're away, he doesn't take anything seriously. Follow your sister's example. Please tell him he's not taking it seriously. As a boy, you need to be careful. You need to study hard and also be here for your mum all the time. I was born in Keidi, but I grew up in Nuadibo. I've been working as a fixer since 2006. It's not bad. Yes. Leave him alone. Why don't you listen? I don't want him crying. Hello? Hello, Amini. How are you? He doesn't like that type of yogurt. He prefers the one with the red packaging. I'm not opening it. Don't open it. Don't open it. Here, take this glass. Why are you interfering in their game? Play your own and leave them alone. Papa, it's not your turn. To be honest, working as a fixer hasn't had a positive effect on my life. We still live hand to mouth. We still live in abject poverty. Where's the carton for the sheep? Gone. All gone? Yes, they ate it all. Let's make some new cartons. Working as a fixer seems to be a lucrative business at first. You think you're making lots of money. When you get home, you consider the conditions and risks involved, you realize what you earned isn't really worth it. It's not enough money to invest in any other business or anything worthwhile. The movement of Africans through the voyage to America is known as Middle Passage. Everybody say Middle Passage. Middle Passage. I can't hear you. Middle Passage. And the name or the first slave ship that ever took them across the Atlantic Ocean is being named Jesus of Lubeck. Everybody say Jesus of Lubeck. Jesus of Lubeck. Or Good Ship Jesus. Good ship. The ship was owned by King Henry VIII of England. But later, Queen Elizabeth rented it to one of the slave facilitators, John Hawking, and they set up taking Africa as a slave. And they call it trade because it's a business that they were doing then. If you look clearly, you see unknown destination. I would say unknown destination. Unknown destination. Now, the reason why they call it unknown destination, the slaves don't even know where they're taking them to. They don't know if there is any country called America or Europe. That's why they call it unknown destination. We'll be walking on the same route that slave walked for 400 years, around 16 centuries. That's when the trade began. And it ended in Africa 1870. That will give you 400 years in slavery. 
So we'll be walking on the route. Then with that heavy chains on their neck, the slave walk in a single file to the point of no But At the interval, there'll be a stopover. Then I'll be introducing to you the water that they should give them to them for them to lose their memory. Yeah, let's go to the point of no return. Ah, oh, mommy, share, oh. Ako mami sheru o. 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 Mi me nya me ple ple o lo. Mi me nya me ple ple o lo. Mi me nya me ple ple o lo. The last smuggling trip was from Nuadibu. We put the migrants into a big boat and moved them about 30 kilometers off the coast of Nuadibu. We asked them to sleep on the bottom of the boat. We covered them with fishing nets and fishing materials so the Coast Guard wouldn't get suspicious. So if they saw our boat, they think it was a fisherman's boat and not smugglers. After two days at sea, the second captain suggested throwing a few people off the boat. I told him I wasn't a murderer. He said the boat would sink, but I refused. I promised to take all the migrants to Las Palmas in Spain. I'm a fisherman, not a murderer. We continued the trip, and after a couple of kilometers, the engine cut out. I went to check it and heard whirring noises. The coast guards were approaching. I tried to keep out of sight. They told us to stay calm and asked if I was the captain. I said no, but they said they knew I was because they'd been following us for the past 100 kilometers. At that point, I realized I had to come clean. We're ready. Stop the boat. This is a routine check. Please give me the rope. Please take it easy. Our boat is not very strong. Take it easy or we'll sink. This is a routine check. We're looking for smugglers. This is just an old fishing boat. Hey, please don't do that. Don't push our boat. Don't tell us what to do. Where are your papers? Are you all from Mauritania? Yes. OK, go on. Coast Guard, stop the boat. Get closer. Captain. Who's the captain? Captain. Captain, your papers. Don't hit our boat. Hey, watch out. Calm down. Why should I? You're outside your fishing zone. Back off. Captain, are you the captain? Yes. 
Where are your papers? Your papers. Hey, please be careful. Give me your papers. We're not doing anything illegal. We've been fishing all morning. We're not afraid of you. Take them to the station. Welcome to my home. Thank you. A trusted friend told us your boat is ready and will soon leave for Spain. We want to join you. We depart in a few days. The price is 760 euros. No additional costs? No, everything's included. We're in business once you've paid. We've done the preparations. The rest is in God's hands. No problem. We'll pay tonight. Tonight? Yes, we'll bring the cash round. Okay, no problem. No problem. We'll bring the money later. Call before you come and I'll tell you where to find us. As skipper, I usually start the trip from Nouakchott to Nouadhibou. In Nouadhibou, I make sure everything's ready for the trip. I confirm arrangements with the fixer. I check the boat and make sure that it will be able to take us to Europe. Once everything is set, the migrants are informed when we'll set sail. Once they're on board at night, we move quietly away from Nouadhibou to steer clear of the Coast Guard. We sometimes move up to 70 kilometers away from Nouadhibou. Once we're sure that we're past the Coast Guard, we set our GPS for Spain. Once it's set, there's no going back. This is the most critical point of the trip. The route's very dangerous. I can't even go back if someone falls off the boat. Then for two days, we battle the waves and nature as we follow the GPS. After two turbulent days, we can relax and plan on how to avoid the Spanish Coast Guard. By this time, we start lowering our speed and turning off the engines at intervals until we arrive in Las Palmas. Hey, throw the rope.
Get up. Let's go. Please sit down closely, quietly. We've informed the Red Cross. They should be here soon with some doctors. Right now, everything that's needed for the trip is ready. All you need to do now is be ready. You'll get a phone call any moment with more details about the trip. You understand how dangerous it is. If you don't get a call, don't panic. It might be due to high seas or the Coast Guard. If Allah wills it, with me you will have no problems. The payment covers transport, food and drinks. Apart from that, the other thing you'll get is a phone call with the date and time of the trip. Many thanks. We'll cross our fingers. You don't have to worry. One more thing, always be careful who you talk to. I warn you, if you get into trouble, I don't know you. And there's no refund after payment. So keep quiet. I hope we are clear. Here to pay for the trip. We can count together. Expect my call. Hello, Captain Abu. Hello, Captain Abu. Praise be to God. I'm Abdurrahman Latoto from Noah Dibo. I have a business proposition for you. We are fully prepared and ready. 
But we're in need of a good skipper. Can we meet as soon as possible to talk? Tomorrow at the latest. Money's not a problem. Just call me on this line as soon as you arrive in Nuadibo tomorrow. All right, no problem. Good night and have a safe trip. <laughs> This is the interval. Once they reach here, every slave must drink out of this well water. Must what? Drink, drink out of this well water. The well was dug by the African ships. Who dug the well? African ships. Those that are doing the business, those that are doing the trade, we are the ones that dug the well. Now, once they reach here, they will fetch this water. They will not give the slave to drink. When the slave consumes the water, they will lose their memories. It will calm them down. They'll be less aggressive. They will not be able to fight. They will just look calm. So then, when they look calm, they will not be able to attack their masters. Government call it slave attuation. Whatever say attuation well. Some call it memory loss well. Well. So after giving them the water, they will now move them to the point of no return. Now we are heading to where? Point of but we will return because we are not a slave. Hello. Please bring the big vest and tea for me. I need to go to Nuadibu, and I'm already running late. Quickly. I hope it's a good journey. Thanks. Do you know yet when you'll be back? If Allah wills it, I'll be back very soon. Where are the kids? Hmm? Let me call them. Kids, come and wish your father a safe trip. Sometimes when I'm alone, I worry about my family a lot, because on my first trip to Europe, my wife was heavily pregnant. The guilt of leaving her alone like that and telling her lies worried me a lot. But since then, I made the decision to go, and the best thing is to finish and get back to her as soon as I can. That decision was very difficult, and I never talked about it. I just live with the guilt. I'll be back in no time. Inshallah. Take care of yourself and the children. Safe journey. OK, bye-bye.
Your name, please. Sit properly. What's your name? Madhu. Sorry? Madhu. Madhu. Second name, Madhu? Madhu? Nakur. Nakur. Name, please. Ibrahim Dembele. Ibrahim Dembele. Thank you. And you are welcome. There are still more people to document over there in the tent. How are you feeling? Very tired. You want to drink water? We're very hungry. Water is not enough. Yes, we are hungry. Do you understand the gravity of what you've done? It takes you at least five days to get to Europe. You would have died in that sea before arriving in Europe if your boat hadn't been intercepted. Look at how tired you are. You wouldn't have lasted for days in that boat. Seriously, you wouldn't have made it to Europe. You would have died on the way. Do you understand how dangerous it is? This is very dangerous. This ambulance can only take one person. We need to bring another ambulance for the second person. Dr. Rahman, how are you? I'm on my way to Nwadiba. See you soon. What's your plan? What should we be expecting? I don't know what I'm getting into. As I told you, I'm bringing eight people. Three of my people and five migrants from Nuakshot. 
You'll get money from two migrants, and I'll keep the money from the other three. If I agree, I don't need to pay you anything. No, you will pay me. How much? If you can pay me 2,000 euros, then I'll get ready to go. This is where we have a problem. Your price is too much for me. It's a fair price. It's a lot of money. I won't have enough to pay the others. It's not too much. If I give you what you want, I'll be making a loss. But I can give you two migrants who will pay 1,800 euros. And I'll keep the fare from the other three. It's not easy for me. I have to pay so many other people. So do I. The marabous, the authorities, and so on. Let's make it easy for both of us. We don't need to waste time bargaining. Please, accept my offer. Listen to me. I'm not just any skipper. I have my reasons for charging that amount. It's not just for money, but for security and other reasons. Many of your colleagues call me, but I don't accept their offers because I don't trust them. Thanks for your respect. Please understand, you left everything in Nouakchott, and you're here. Don't let one passenger fare ruin this opportunity. I'll let you have two passengers. You can ask them to pay you any amount. It's none of my business. I'll pay you your money quickly if Allah wills it. One, two, three, four, five. Done. Is that all? Yes, that's all. Let's get ready for tonight. Everything's been sorted and you'll sail freely without any problem. If Allah wills it, it's a win-win. Now, this is the Atlantic Ocean. The slave ship, because of the troubles of the water, the slave ship will be a few kilometers because it's bigger, the cargo ship. Then they will use a smaller ship, a smaller boat. Down here, they'll be taking the slave in batches into the bigger ship before they'll be taken to America or Europe. Aho mami sheru, you're not singing. Aho mami sheru, 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 aho Like I've told you guys before, everything is ready. The boat is anchored close by. They'll go out in groups of five and please, no noise, no running. Don't push anyone, there's space for everyone. No one's allowed to sit on the edge. We'll get there if Allah wills it. Right now, you don't need to worry, because it looks like you're practically already in Spain. How many days will it take to get there? Don't worry about all that now. Relax and we'll be there in no time if Allah wills it. As a good skipper, my duty is to get you to your destination safely. By God's grace, I've been good at it.
Spain, here we come. No need to worry. We'll stick to your rules. And remember, the boat doesn't have a toilet. I hope you didn't eat anything other than biscuits and water. Oh, don't die me, pending. 